Hello students, in this video we shall walk through all the questions of exercise 1.2. The first question is state whether the following statements are true or false. I have written in short true or false. Justify your answers. Justify means we need to give reason why is it true or why is it false. Every irrational number is a real number. We know that Real numbers is the collection of all rational numbers which can be written in the p by q form and irrational numbers which cannot be written in the p by q form. That is rational numbers and irrational numbers together make the real number set. So this statement is true since collection of real numbers is made up of rational and irrational numbers. So every irrational number is a real number. Every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number. This is a number line with negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers. Here m is given as natural numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. And if you take the root of natural numbers, root 1 is 1, root 4 is 2, root 9 is 3, root 25 is 5. So we are getting all positive numbers. Note that when we use the symbol, this under root symbol, we always, we always take it to be the positive square root of the number. So this statement is false because no negative number can be the square root of any natural number. Every real number is an irrational number. This is false because real number is a collection of both rational numbers and irrational numbers not just irrational numbers. So this is false. For example, 2 is real but not irrational. You can give your own examples. Coming to question number 2. Are the square roots of all positive integers irrational? If not, give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number. So the question is asking that if you take any positive integer, is it that you will always get an irrational number? Positive integers are starting from 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. If you take the square root of this, that's square root of 1, square root of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now root 1 is 1. Root 4 is equal to 2. So we see that root 1, that is 1, is a rational number root 4 which is 2 is also a rational number therefore the answer is no the square roots of all positive integers are not irrational you can give these examples and say that these are rational numbers question number 3 show how root 5 can be represented on the number line so first draw a number line and then draw line OA of 2 units. This is 1 unit, 2 units. So 2 units on the number line. So this is OA. At A, draw a perpendicular line BA of unit length. This is 1 unit. Join OB. Now OAB is a right angled triangle. Using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find out OB. OB equals to root of 2 squared plus 1 squared that is root 4 plus 1 or root 5. So this length here OB is root 5. Using a compass with center O and radius OB draw an arc which intersects the number line at point Q. This point is Q which corresponds to root 5. The last question is a classroom activity which is constructing the square root spiral and this is a very interesting activity. There are detailed videos available on our channel for question number 3 and question number 4. I shall leave the link in the description. Do check them out. With this we have come to the end of this exercise. See you all with the next exercise. Till then, bye.